Hello, this is Squadaloo here with another sort of GameCube Wii VR sort of deal. Uh, today I'm going to be playing some F-Zero GX, which I technically have a couple videos of on the channel uh, without any commentary or anything in VR. Uh, but I finally unlocked all the playable characters after playing a bunch of F-Zero 99. I kind of came back to this. Got all the playable characters, and I decided to just do a bunch of Master Grand Prix with different characters that I hadn't used before to get their videos. Uh, and I'm kind of just continuing that. Um, I figured I might as well. Uh, and I've been doing some of it in VR, and I figured I might as well give that a shot. Um, hopefully this looks fine for you. Um, odds are you might notice there's a constantly spinning mouse in the corner. Uh, this was a massive, gigantic pain in the ass to set up um, for various reasons I'm not going to go into because this intro is going to be long enough. Um, but yeah, we're just going to get into it because otherwise I'm going to be here all day talking about that. Um, so I'm going to pick a character I haven't actually beaten a Grand Prix with before, or a Master Grand Prix before. Uh, I, I really hate the design of these three characters. But I was doing a little bit of testing before, and they have some pretty good handling, so they might be a good choice. Actually, no. I'm going to go with Mrs. Zero, because she also had good handling. And fuck those three. Um, so yeah, we're going to start with the Ruby Cup. I've already, as I said, I've already technically got a video of beating this in Master Mode in VR on the channel, without any commentary. Um, I used Sonic Phantom, which I honestly didn't even realize was one of the best vehicles in the game until after I did that. Um, and it's the only time I've actually gotten first in every race in a Master Mode Grand Prix. Um, so that's probably not going to happen this time. Um, but yeah, we'll just get underway. My goal is hopefully to beat every cup in Master Mode in VR. I've technically beaten the Ruby, Emerald, and AX Cups in VR. Never the Sapphire Cup, never the Diamond Cup, because honestly I think those are the two hardest ones to win in Master Mode. Um, but yeah, we're just underway here in Mute City. Uh, Twist Road. I don't really like the design of Mute City in this game. It's one of my few problems, major problems with this game. It's honestly might be my least favorite venue. Uh, obviously I went with the alternate music because it's the only correct choice. Um, because the actual mix of this song sucks. Jesus, that probably just took a bunch of help. One of the things that sucks about this game in VR is, uh... You'll notice I have to keep constantly looking up at my health. Um, because I've tried all of the settings in uh, Dolphin VR to try and move that. And it just doesn't. It just does not move forward or back, regardless of what I do. I guess the game probably just has some special logic for UI stuff. For the HUD in this game. So it's kind of just stuck perpetually kind of just outside my view. Am I actually gonna win this? Oh! Black Bolt get fuck you! Did, did I do it? Yeah! <laughs> That's a nice surprise. It's actually been a long time since I've won that course. In VR or otherwise. Um, in Master Mode. Oh, Jesus, that is a terrible low poly. <laughs> uh, Miss, uh, Mrs. Arrow over there. Um, but yeah, uh, so this game VR... Um, Obviously, I wouldn't recommend it as a first VR game. And it's not ideal because you're not really in the cockpit. You're just kind of using the game's bumper vision. Um, but honestly, it's not that much harder than just playing the game normally because the game already has a first-person mode. It's kind of easier sometimes to stare around some of the turns and stuff. Uh, honestly, it doesn't super add a ton, I guess, because the world's so big, you don't really get a ton of depth, I feel like. Maybe it's just because I'm used to VR. This is one of the few courses, though, that I actually really like in VR, um, especially the Casino Palace in general, because if you, like, look down, you get a nice sense of height and shit. Uh, if you look up at the... Let me... Can I kill him? Did I get... Yeah, I got him! <laughs> Take that. Uh, if you looked up at the statue, which I wasn't able to do because I was too busy... Uh, fucking over uh, <laughs> Black Shadow there. Um, 
it looks really nice in VR. Like that, yeah, you can see that whole turn and everything. That looks really cool. I usually do pretty bad in this uh, course in Master Mode. Did I pick Master Mode? It doesn't feel like it's hard. It's, it usually is. Oh, well, they're kind of zooming past. I don't know. It's going to be embarrassing when I find out I didn't pick Master Mode. In fact, I'm really thinking that's the case, because I should not be running away with this like this. Although it could be that because I took out Black Bowl, everything got fucked. Because I've noticed sometimes when I take out a certain rival, uh, the rest of the AI get kind of dumb. GP Ruby Cup, does this say whether it's Master? Oh, I should look at how many lives I have. That'll be a good indication. In which case, this will be a very embarrassing error. This will be very embarrassing when I find out I did not select Master Mode. Does it say anywhere on here? Nope. Doesn't say anywhere here either. I have two lives! Okay, it's Master Mode. I don't know. It just feels like they're not putting... Maybe, uh, maybe this car's really good. <laughs> I just didn't realize it. Uh, okay. Obviously, this is where things start to really heat up here. Killed in Silver Wrath there. Um, this has never been one of my favorite courses in this game. But I like, I mean, I think it's good, neat, because you kind of get your first difficult turn there of really the whole game so far. Uh, I also didn't look at how many points I was leading by, but considering I've won the first two races, it's got to be. We got to have ourselves a pretty good lead. Especially since we killed the rival, too. Ooh, I got hit from behind and kind of caused me to start sliding. Let's kill Captain Falcon if we can. Nope. Killed Asher Robin, though. Uh, forgot what the fuck that... Zack Levin, right? That's Zack Levin driving the Asher. I forgot I have boost. I was like, how come everyone's going so fast now? Too busy talking. Uh, so my strategy for Master Mode is... Generally, just I've actually kind of over boosted here, um, but usually my strategy is just don't boost unless I really have to until the final lap, and then the final lap you just save all your boosts uh, for the finish line, and you don't have to worry about front running too much because the way I see it, the AI is going to rubber band, so your goal is to stretch the rubber band before it can snap back at the very end of the race. And my bitrate just took a nosedive on my headset. Uh, I do have to boost a couple of times here because I'm kind of falling behind the pace. I'm much further behind than I want to be. Probably not going to win this race, but that's okay. You don't really have to win that much. You just kind of have to place consistently in Master Mode. Yeah, I'm not going to... Yeah. Six is perfectly fine, Master Mode. Uh, I don't even know who a rifle is anymore, because I wasn't paying attention. Uh, but yeah, so far this is going pretty well. Um, hopefully my headset doesn't die here. Black Bull is putting up a fight. Uh, whoop, I'd hope. Okay, we're almost 100 points ahead, so I'd say it's pretty good. Uh, in fact, if we can kill Green Panther and Super... Nah, there's too many people in the 180s. I mean, I could kill them all, but... Generally, killing people is a lot harder in VR. Um, the next track... Is probably one of my worst for this mode. Or maybe it's because it's one of the AI's best in this cup. In this mode. Uh, but either way, it seems like I sometimes I just have a lot of trouble placing well in master mode in this course. Fortunately, there's no code as far as I can tell to disable calling in VR. Uh, for this game. So obviously if it's not, I'm not directly... I could kill him right now. Because I was lined up with him, but I've noticed there's a glitch. Or not a glitch. I don't know. It seems like whenever I go for a side attack on the loops on this course, I just randomly die. 
And somebody just fucking destroyed my health, so I better actually take this recharge here. I mean, it, it just seems like every time I go for a site, yeah, actually, uh, you could see it in a video in the, uh, I mentioned I have an earlier video of me beating this in master mode uh, with the Sonic Phantom in VR. Uh, I left in the fact that I just, like, randomly die when I do a side attack on this first loop here. And it's, like, the only thing that goes wrong in the whole cup. I also like in VR, because when you go through those loops, you can actually just look straight up, basically. Kind of give yourself an advantage. I forgot I had boost power again. Because I'm too busy talking. I didn't hear you got boost power. Yeah, the AI is just kind of nasty on this course. And my bitrate is tanking, which is not going to help things. I really should take him out. Actually, hold on. Did that just say Black Bowl? I thought the rival thing was just over Black Bolt, didn't No, we got 30 racers. It's got to be over Green Panther. Okay. Uh, probably being a little overly saving up my boost here. I'm not too worried. I think I've already pretty much won this cup because Aeropolis Multiplex is one of my favorite forces in the game and probably one of my best, so... We got a lot of boost. Uh, we're in fifth, so we're actually in pretty good shape here. If I boost it out on the final straight, we should be good. Now. Yeah! Did we win that one? I think we did. Yeah! Overtook him right at the end. That was fucking good. Uh, I gotta say, I haven't played the Queen Meteor that much, but so far I'm really liking this vehicle. Handles very well. Powerful boost. We are ahead by over 100 points. So we've already won the cup. As long as I don't die twice on multiplex. Uh, which is probably some terrible foreshadowing. Uh, give me just a moment. I just gotta look through the nose hole here to make sure my computer's still recording because, uh... <laughs> as I said, this was a clusterfuck to get working. Um, and there's a good chance that I'm no longer recording this. Uh, Aeropolis Multiplex. Oh, I, I haven't really talked too many about, much about these courses like I do in my Mario Kart stuff. I really love Loop Cross. Uh, it's one of the most iconic courses in this game for me. This is... This might be my favorite course in the game. Maybe not. Uh, I, it definitely was when I was a kid and I wasn't as good at this game. But for whatever reason, I was... Jesus, I just got rocked there. For whatever reason, I was pretty good at this course. And I just love this course. I think it's got everything you can want in F-Zero. I think it's kind of the... When I think of this game, I think of this course, basically. I should say, I'm not good at any... I'm not, like, a pro at this game. I mean, I did beat uh, very hard mode all the story campaigns, finally. Uh, but, I mean, I don't know any advanced techniques. I honestly barely know, like, <laughs> how some of the mechanics in this game work, even though I've beat the game with, like, half of the racers in Master Mode. <laughs> I don't really know half the time how error handling is supposed to work. Um... But, yeah. Uh, so, like, I don't snake. I don't know any of that shit. I know the whole, like, Eleanor here to do that turn, which feels super satisfying. That's the thing that I didn't really know as a kid. Because as a kid, I had a player's guide for this game. I think it was the player's guide. And the player's guide said, hey, for tight turns, what you really want to do, you can hit Eleanor. That's neat and all. But what you really want to do is you want to spin before the turn. Because it makes the turn easier. Uh, which it technically does, but that's because it slows you down, I feel like. <laughs> and it sucks. Uh, so don't do that. Use just tap L and R, and then uh, you can kind of hold the, the uh, slide button in the direction you want to go. I'm not overly concerned about overtaking these people, because I'm going to go sort of hog wild in the final lap here. But yeah, this course I just feel like has everything that I want in this game. It's got like a big drop. 
this huge loop is coming up is so fun. Even for a beginning racer. How much? Okay. Let's, let's really kick it up with speed. Okay. Probably gonna get passed because the AI loves to pass me on this straight. Or maybe not. Nope, we got it. Okay, I honestly didn't expect that many, uh, I didn't expect four first place, first places, but here we are. Um, Queen Meteor, turns out, really good vehicle. Uh, one by almost a second there, and we have won by uh, nearly 140 points. 138, I think that's right. So yeah, so far so good. Um, I have no idea how much battery my headset has, probably running low because the, again this thing took like an hour and a half to set up uh so yeah uh first cup so far so good but things get so much harder in the sapphire cup i feel like i feel like the sapphire cup is harder to win in master mode than the emerald cup it's definitely a lot harder in the ax cup the ax cup i honestly think is maybe the second easiest it honestly might even be the easiest for some vehicles I don't know, maybe I'm just good at those courses, but uh, yeah, um, Sapphire Cup, I just feel like the AI is so fucking good at Big Blue Drift Highway. Uh, I kind of want to watch the party at the end of this, which is why I'm watching this play out, because I haven't watched that in VR before. Um, but Big Blue Drift Highway, either I suck at it or the AI is too good at it. It's one of the two. Oh, the skull made the podium. Hey, look at everyone. <laughs> look at look at Aquaman go. Yeah. And skull bouncing back and forth. And they're all gone physically. Okay, let's go to the interview. Where we don't get an F Zero TV logo for some reason. I like that you can see how aggressively the game pulls here, because, like, he doesn't have a left hand, she doesn't have a right hand, because in the normal game, neither of those would actually be a uh, part of the game. Uh, let's see if her and her hubby fight. The rumor mill says you and your husband aren't getting on. You've got to be kidding. Of course we fight, but we have a great relationship built on trust. Riveting. Thank you for the uh, okay. I think my favorite question that I've asked in this game uh, is, like, if you pick Mighty Gazelle, the cyborg, and, like, he's just gone through fucking hell. He's just, he's a cyborg. I, hold on, actually, I want to see what the hell her video is, since I just unlocked this. Um... Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought she was in the shower for a second. <laughs> was... Oh, so it's basically uh, Octoman, but not Octoman. It's, it's kind of lame. All right. Well... Riveting. Um, so, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, oh, fucking poor Mighty Gazelle. He's a cyborg. He's just won. He's put his life on his line, on the line. He's won the F-Zero Grand Prix. And Dipshit just turns to him and goes, got a girlfriend? And, like, that's the only question you have for him. <laughs> it just sounds so stupid. <laughs> Uh, so, I don't know if this is going to be a separate recording or not when I go to the Sapphire Grand Prix, but I'm going to stop recording now, and if it's not a separate recording, you probably won't hear any of this. If it is, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time with the Sapphire Cup. Bye!